Have you ever wondered how some people advance financially in life while others seem to be at a standstill? If you are at a financial standstill in your life and you seem to be making no progress, then I want to share one financial tip. I don't believe that your issue is a lack of resources, but rather a lack of resourcefulness. Let me explain. Resources refer to the tools that are available to us at any given time. Resourcefulness, on the other hand, refer to how effective we are at utilizing those tools. See, most poor people, and by poor, I do mean middle class and under, they have a consumer mindset. They think that the purpose of money is to pay bills and to spend it on things that they enjoy only to find themselves having to wait until the next paycheck to repeat the process again. Wealthy people, on the other hand, understand that the purpose of money is to create more money. See, in the mind of the wealthy person, money is used as a tool. This is why you will rarely see wealthy people driving the latest cars, wearing the latest clothes, or buying the most expensive homes just for themselves. It's always poor people who feel as though they have something to prove and thus are more likely to flaunt what they really can't afford. How do I know? Because I had a poor mindset growing up and it wasn't until high school really that things began to shift for me. For example, 99.9% .9 of the furniture in my home right now was free. I'm talking high quality material, okay? Just because it's free doesn't mean it is cheap. It just means I didn't have to pay for it. So anyone who comes to my house would never know if I didn't tell them, but I often tell them all the time, yep, I got that for free, I got that for free. Why? Because I'm trying to get them to see that you can have nice things legally and not have to pay for it with your own money. It's called being resourceful. So now all of the money that would have went into furnishing our home and rentals could now be put into growing our investments. See, when you understand how money works, you'll be less likely to spend money on name brand materialistic stuff that depreciates and decreases in value the moment that you buy it. Instead, you'll start investing in assets that appreciate in value and put more money in your pocket. The goal of money, again, is not to spend it, but it is to make more money. Why? So that you can use it as a tool to expand God's kingdom in the earth and do what he put you on earth to do. So some ways that you can make your money work for you is by investing in real estate, stocks, your own business, or even courses that packages information that you can get from point A to point B in a shorter time span than if you went and tried to do all the research on your own, which could end up taking years upon years. That is, of course, depending on the amount of time that you have available to study. That said, if you want to know how I save thousands while furnishing my home, it's simple. Some things were gifted to us by family members, but 90% of the things that we have was by using a free app called Freebie Alerts, where you simply put in a zip code. I personally recommend a uh, zip code in a nice area and you'll get alerts anytime someone posts what they deem as trash for free. Because remember, one person's trash is another person's treasure. So with that app, the only thing that we pay for is the gas needed to pick up the item and to bring it back home. It's a free app. I don't get anything by sharing it with you, but I'm honestly surprised that more people don't know about it. And if you're too prideful to use what people call hand-me-downs, then I guarantee that you most likely will never be wealthy. Why? Because it all starts in here. It's a mindset thing. But of course, you don't know what you don't know. So make a decision to become a lifelong learner and invest in yourself today. Amen? If you want to learn more, comment teach down below and I'll send you a free training on how to create a financial plan that works and build generational wealth for you, your children, and your children's children.
And remember, delay is the enemy of progress. So don't delay. Do it now. Amen. Be blessed in Jesus' name.